It's time for a new series, and this time it's Denmark. We'll show you history, some food, and some awesome locations. The weather was good and the weather was bad. But we didn't let that stop us having a really great time. We have no idea what to expect, so we hope you'll hit that subscribe button and tag along. Welcome back to the channel for a whole new series with the Little Red Camper. We can fit in here, Charlie. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boom, boom. No one to tell us how close to get. That's as close as I'm getting, baby. Okay, 208. C deck 5. Let's have a look at the uh, shit layout. Blimey. Excuse us, please. This is the queue for the buffet and it stretches all the way down the ship. Either the food runs out or it's blooming tasty. The fact that there's so many people here obviously means this is the thing to do, yeah. doesn't it? I'm not fussed about having a big buffet. No, nor am I. Let's go and sit over here, shall we? Yeah. You're not allowed to drink any alcohol that yeah. you've brought from ashore or that you've bought in the tax-free market. No. We're off. Goodbye, Norway. You've been fun. Right. Let's eat. What'd you go for, Charlie? For chicken thighs. I've gone for pork and vegetables. We were lucky because our crossing was like a mill pond. This is the buffet that was so crowded earlier on. <laughs> Nice to have cheese for the prices are. Even in the boutique shop that wasn't tax-free, the clothes too cheap. Had some really big bars of chocolate, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Three for seventy-nine Very good. It's not too bad. It's quite sheltered in this bit. Yeah. Don't come any further. <laughs> Our crossing was very enjoyable, but soon it was time to disembark. They should let you take any leftover cakes. <laughs> Gotta go down one more. Yeah, yeah. hear all the um, alarms going off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting some sanitizer. Okay. <laughs> I like the way you were just pumping the sanitizer <laughs> all over the, the deck. <laughs> Some poor old lady's going to slip off. <laughs> Let's get the pad out. Oh, it's so hot. In Norway, we were pulled out of the queue. So this is why they um, took us aside at the beginning when we were loading, because we'd fit underneath the ramp there, but we wouldn't fit on that upper level. Top level's coming down now. Mm. It's quite a short ferry crossing, this one. Hello, Denmark. It's like they've had some rain here. Still getting it, isn't Still they? raining. <laughs> Hope you haven't gone round full circle because it looks very much like Norway. Yeah. So we got third exit one. I can count, but having a co-pilot really helps. To when you're brand new in country. This one. Deer. Shout for deer. End of no overtaking. It's late, so we're just going to make do with a park for night location tonight. It's always nice when you see other camper vans already there. Feels much safer.
aircon on full blast get rid of all the condensation boil in some clothes let me get through here then and then up you go oh, this is suddenly very hard uh, hang on these are steep go left here down and then up yeah. It's like they're planting hedges here, don't they? Yeah. To um, stop the erosion. And then you come along and walk right through it. It's got a gap for that purpose. It's weird how some of it is ultra soft and others it's really hard. Is it what you imagined? Oh, it's pebbles. I thought they were shells. Sandy, I don't think pebbles. That house there. I don't think I'd want to live that close to the sea. <sighs> yeah, I think it's a sandpiper. Not normally on their own, no. Eh? No, normally it loads of them together, aren't they? This place has been truly wrecked and by vandals I would say maybe it was caught in a storm got abandoned and then the vandals moved in because that is a mess is that washed in there absolutely trashed isn't it yeah. it's a do or upper yeah it's in there it's like the bedroom <laughs> yeah it's your bedroom what do you think mm. wallpaper's a bit naff yeah. I don't think so not for me. Not when I can park here in my camper van and then drive off when it gets bad. So all the ones we saw in Norway were probably winter cottages and this one... Yeah, these are summer. These are summer. Okay, steep hill, but let's see if we can get back this way. We put these fans in the boot, didn't we, Charlie? Yeah, thinking that's it. We won't need them again this trip. And lo and behold, here we are, absolutely sweating. It's a nice park up. The only downside is there's a load of little midges out there. Well, I don't think they're midges, actually. Just tiny little flies, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, yep, let's hit the road. It's turning out to be not such a bad day after all that rain. That's quite nice now, isn't it? Flood here, though. Super Bruxen. It's just coming up here on the right. It's sport out of it as well. Fish buffet. 179 per person. 24 quid. 24 quid. Yeah. You're probably all full of mussels, Charlie. You can't eat them. No, okay. It's free for little children. Maybe I should put my shorts on. And they need coins for the trolleys. Let's see if they've got a basket. Are they wheelable baskets? Merlot for 199 There's loads of stuff I'd like to try here. Super Bruxen. It's a nice little shop. Yeah, it was quite busy in there, wasn't it? Yeah. And in Audi, where I just went for some water, yeah. it's absolutely dead. In um, France, Belgium, places like that, they sell a lot of long life milk and they do it in handy little um, half-litre containers which are perfect for us and when we were in Belgium I bought a pack of six which has lasted up until now like nearly four weeks yeah perfect yeah it? but they don't do that they didn't do it in Norway they're 
and they don't seem to do it here in Denmark. Strange seeing brick buildings again after all the wooden houses in Norway. Yeah. I guess you have to give way to them. So I've got sore right. teeth. You've got sore teeth? No, on the floor. Oh. Look, a sore oh, teeth. No. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought we had sore teeth. <laughs> oh, we're at the end of the world. Here we are. Oh, give me a cup of tea. Oh, oh it's cyclists scare the living daylights at me. It just pops out, doesn't he, from behind a shed. Yeah. I think they wait till you come along. So, oh, so there's Ken in the little there's red Ken. camper. Let's pop out it's... here. It's like it's a cruise terminal. Oh, yeah. I only want a place to put the drone up. I don't know is the quick answer. It's posh and Kahoos. Now where are you going, love? I thought you would do that. <laughs> It's the Baltic Sea on our right hand side then, isn't it? It's the Baltic on the right and the North Sea over there on the left. It's going to come in here for a minute. see anything saying you've got to pay. Can't see a ticket in anybody's window. No, but it'll be uh, by app. Will it? Yeah. Get the kettle on, Bunny. Yeah. We'll make a nice cup of tea and then some nice Danish bread with Norwegian honey. Beautiful. So this will be us for the night. There's loads of other campers here spread out all over and apparently at this time of the year in September you don't have to pay to be here, which is perfection. I think we stay in this bit or do they want us all up that end? Well, maybe we'll corral with the other uh, yeah. homesteaders. It's quite thinly sliced. Mm, it smells delicious. Well, at least it didn't land like a brick. No. But then you just laid it down, didn't you? Yeah. Mm, it smells gorgeous. It's like... um. Almost like a malt bread mm. tastes like. Smells like. Oh, what? Smoke alarm. You can't get the staff these days. <clears throat> it's all in our hands, this life of time. Let's give unto us all. It gathers round each night, each morn We watch it pass and grow It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands With every field and rising sea Sounds of all, and with every chance.
all in